Hello there, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Alt, your source for open source. There's Tizen, Ubuntu Touch, and now Firefox OS. But which one should we choose? And Android is already the top dog, so why choose any at all? So I figured it was time to do battle of the open source OSs, starting with Ubuntu for phones. <laughs> Brought to you by Untangle. Now I have a Nexus and you better believe I'm going to give you a full review, have the beta on my phone and everything, but I just wanted to give you the rundown now and answer the question, why should I care about Ubuntu Touch? First a bit of history for you, if you recall about five years ago there was Ubuntu Mobile, which my guess was Canonical's kind of experiment of testing all the things that could work in a mobile environment, and then scrapped it for Ubuntu Touch. Well, actually, they're still in active development with Kubuntu, but that's more of a lightweight OS that's for ARM-based processors. So onwards to the Ubuntu Mobile do-over. This interface was announced in January and dubbed Ubuntu Touch. Aptly named as it still uses the apt repositories for software updates and installations. See what I did there? Apt, get, aptly. Sorry Gnome 3 fans, Ubuntu has a Unity interface, but on the upside you're supposed to get a full-on Ubuntu desktop experience when you dock it with a monitor. So uh, that's a tall order, but that's not all. What Ubuntu Touch claims to do. So as you know, our phone is a computer, but Canonical claims that we're only using it with the limitations that a phone has. So I will let good old Mark tell you what they have in store for us. One platform for all kinds of computing, your phone, tablet, desktop and TV, and of course the cloud, and your personal supercomputer. Ubuntu is the first platform to aim for complete convergence of that whole range. Now when it came to designing the phone, our challenge was to distill all of that down to its true essence, into something you can use in one hand. And in meeting that challenge, we've made something remarkable, something you're going to love. It reflects you beautifully when you turn it on. It has a unique home screen that organizes itself around your needs, and it leaves more space for the good stuff than any other phone. With that being said, Canonical shooting to release devices that have Ubuntu Touch on them by fall of this year, and we are rest assured that it will be... Fantastic. Awesome. Extraordinary. Amazing. Excellent. Great. Beautiful. Brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Shuttleworth what Ubuntu Touch really does. So Ubuntu Touch has no buttons. It's the first mobile OS that activates all the epic swiping capabilities of every edge of your screen, allowing you to swipe through status messages, applications, etc. and so on. It has a launch bar just like the Ubuntu Desktop Edition, and also Dash, where you can search for anything, be it on your phone or online. It even has aspects of the HUD that is voice activated, say a function, and it'll sort through the nested menus to find it. You can also reply directly to text messages and social media without having to load up a whole app to do it. Oh, and to overwhelm you with features, all your data is synced with Ubuntu One so you can theoretically access it from anywhere. And that's pretty damn cool if you ask me, but no buttons. I don't know if I, maybe I'm a traditionalist, but the whole UI seems kind of confusing to me. I will get to all that in my review later though. The catch. Right now the big thing is, and I assume it's because it's so new, that there's no devices organically running it. And that's fine for we geeks because we're kind of into that, but for the average user, installing something manually doesn't really make sense, I don't think. Canonical kicked off a portathon where the community is working on porting devices through and have gotten the code to be compatible with 30 products and counting, including the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S series. But that doesn't get away from the fact that they need manufacturers, developers, network operators, all working in synergy to make this a reality. Ubuntu Touch overall verdict. I'm not gonna lie, the features do sound promising and something I've never seen before. To make my phone into a computer just by plugging in a cord and merge the divide between devices and make all my data available to me from Ubuntu One regardless of me being on my phone, desktop, or tablet. Also, Ubuntu Touch is supposed to be best friends with HTML5 and Canonical's released a dev kit if you wanna go out there and make some native apps and I will put all the beta testing information and dev stuff in the description bar below. 
but don't forget to look out for my in-depth how-to on installation and review in the future. And of course, in upcoming videos, I'll be comparing all the open source OS's and come back with my conclusion on that. So thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next operating system in the battle, Firefox OS. Sometimes I feel like a multicast packet. I ask 10 different people how to get somewhere and get 10 different answers. Horrible network joking aside, if replacing your old UTM, firewall, or gateway is your question, Untangle is your only answer. Whether you're looking for a hardware, software, or virtualized solution, Untangle is a complete multifunction firewall and internet management application suite. What you won't have is sales reps bugging you, the need for multiple appliances, but what you will have is no hidden costs. And Untangle's try before you buy approach enables you to take control of your network within minutes and at no risk. If you just need minimum protection, run the light package. It's always free of charge and open source, but if you're a power user and you need full featured functionality and advanced web filtering, application control, policy management, and bandwidth control, you'll want the premium package, for which I have for free today. Untangle's proven network software solutions protect more than 2 million people and their computers, so it's time for you to get a chance. OS Alt viewers will get a 14-day free trial of all the Untangle premium package apps and will save 20% off list price with the promo code OSALT. And all you have to do is visit untangle.com slash OSALT. And how do you catch an ether bunny? With an ethernet. No one? Okay.